If you're looking to buy cheap Rocket League items, be sure to check out today's sponsor RL Exchange. They support all platforms and offer a wide selection of Rocket League items to choose from and have multiple payment options. Be sure to use code RLH at checkout for a 3% discount on your entire purchase. Early on in game one. Our Trey's Bowl currently sitting at home waiting for a card to make a play. He'll get up on the back wall to stop that effort. Cards oh. can have an open net. Lost coming in as well. It's Lost that gets credit as the ball just kind of skipped into the box and nobody could react in time. AJG looked like he was turning away for Great maybe Trace and AJG was right there for it, but just not able to navigate through traffic and get into the net. What a save by Ray's Bull stopping Yan. Follow up from Lost is there. And yes, Cole, Lost still involved in everything. His second goal, Jan's second assist. It comes with the rebound effort this time. Just about doing and his complexity is going to run out of time here in game one. And well, maybe that shot would have given them at least a chance with the kickoff. But yes, time does run out on complexity. Furia throws a shutout in game one and they punctuate it with Jan delivering the dagger. Just to add frustration to injury right now for Complexity. The zero second goal, one that obviously they will not Fairly want to get in and follows up on lost clearance. I'd say AJG is not the most likely so far for Complexity. He seems to be the person they're trying to find with these passes. Even if it's not quite happening for him, but down the other end, lost yet again, that. Yeah, this is otherworldly stuff right now. Out of loss. Passing, scoring, the Avoids defense him. has been... And that caught a piece of card coming off the back wall, denying CRR a clean rebound. Three seconds remaining. AJG, awkward touch. Jan will bring it to ground <laughs> off of Ray's Bowl. Kind of a doink. Not really the type you're looking for. I think that was just damned if you do and damned if you don't. You score in this third you. game. CRR sends it forward, gets an all-important second touch. The lost hit wasn't towards Jan. It was a little bit wayward. What can CRR do? The pass into the center is closed down by Lost. Braceball has a chance. I think that one's in, and they have broken Furia down. Well, they finally get one on the board, and they can feel at least fairly good about it, but it took a long time oh, in this. Right, it looked like a pinch down feel, and it didn't quite work out. The timing not there for Furia. Maybe getting a little too cute now that things aren't working as they had in the previous couple games. CRR is going to pick a pocket. And a 2-0 lead for Complexity. Yeah, just punishing these Fury mistakes now. Now they are the ones who are looking a little bit hesitant. The clearances aren't going to the correct place. Look at Yan having through. to um, It's all a case of who blinks first and who will make that first mistake. All that little bit of genius. As you can see, once again, Ray's Bull is defending his backboard flawlessly. There was a bump on the way, though, that opened up Complexity, and Fury eventually finished the job. Oh, Lost is back into the offense. Getting that challenge over on the side. Pinch it right across the for Kong. And they need to respect the Fury offense. They do have a chance to counter. CRR there, almost over the top of Lost. Who gets the save and keeps the ball going, but does get tackled and almost own goals. CRR sneaks it in and we do have parity. Uh, I think that this is just Lost maybe getting a little too cute. He saw AJG coming on. Thought maybe he could get the read on him because he had done so oh, multiple times. Oh, we're going to have a grandstand finish to this fourth game. As Ray's ball curls around the ball. Jan gets a chunk of it, but CRR is up onto it next. It's in the ceiling. Card can only get Ray's ball, who's got a score. 2-1 complexity, the turnaround's complete. Uh, turn this completely on its head. CRR, I think everybody expected him oh. to go for a second touch there, and all Card could do Maybe is, is make how much improved they are into this split or it is a scathing indictment of NRG. You can never tell with NRG which way around it goes, but we'll get back to that in a second, because Furia, what a start for them. Oh my goodness. Look at Card coming through. Lost with a beautiful pass this time. There is somebody the there. Which AJG did manage to read. Now CRR, around he goes. Onto the ceiling, Raceball's coming in. Could be equal here. Lost and Card, both of them went. There's still danger. AJG gets a flip reset over the top, and CRR oh. is going to have the simplest finish of his career. <laughs> My gosh. What a touch. Okay, AJG. Complete the reverse sweep. And with plays like that out of AJG, he's come alive. He has not scored yet, 
That one was on its way. He's got three assists, though. Ooh. And they've all been money. Raise full oh. flip reset from the heavens. Just drop it on their head top at a 2-1 lead. I was just thinking a couple of games ago, it's been a while since we've seen a glorious raise ball flip reset. That Rely. one wasn't off the ball. Fury are currently employing the 1-2 formation where one player is back and will have two players in front of him and he can pick either of them to pass to with a pre-jump. But so far, it's not really paid any dividends and Complexity have punished it. They've come forward once in the last 60 seconds and it's led to a goal. Oh, AJG chasing Jan into the net, and Jan still almost oh, got to this. Off the... couldn't get this on target, though, and the window's still open for Furia. Lost. Wait. Got. Oh, he lost possession there. That was not intentional. CRR now. Red at lost. Roll it home, and Complexity is going to pull it off. They've turned it around completely, and first off, respect to Stax accidentally making puns, even in this highly charged part of the series. And secondly, congrats to Complexity. I feel like either team really made the most of all of their opportunities, but Complexity <sighs> turned it on when it mattered most. And in the end, Complexity is going to go from 0-2 down to pulling off a reverse sweep unless something truly ridiculous happens here in the final five seconds. Furia does get one back here. And with at least enough yeah, time to... Maybe, just maybe, Genji will fall to Optic Gaming. Stranger things have indeed happened, and we have to remember, Optic aren't a bad team and aren't bad plays, but when you get five seconds in and Nolly scores a double tap stacks, it instantly gets that much tougher. That is Nolly's first goal of the tournament at just the four Being assists. Bad. Talk us through the Optic Gaming dynamic. What are they going to be relying on to at least perform as well as they can right now against Genji? I think the shooting from someone like AJ has to be better. That one goes far yeah. down and in, and right on cue, AJ does score. He had one goal in the previous series with Dignitas that they dropped in four games. He adds one here. He keeps Red his car behind the ball. There's never a dub hit from apparently Jack. Yeah, he's certainly one of the smarter players in the world and has been regarded in that way for a while. He's also Johnny on the spot here as his effort right down Main Street off the feed from Chronic and there's that chemistry again mechanical everybody kids, say originally you know uh, sort of third generation mechanical kids perhaps he's been among the team for a long time now he wasn't like, quite able to get that one on target apparently Jack just goes again and oh, okay <laughs> it, it, sure. it's, it's, like when did he make the decision just to prod this one into the corner now just oh yeah I see there's a gap not he's going for the bump so get it in the bottom right and it will Optic at least able to keep them out for now, though not through much of their own work. Rettles right at apparently Jack. Nolly's popped this up, leaves Chronic all alone. He couldn't stop oh. AJ, who bounces it down on the double. Love to see it from AJ. There we go, Nolly. Actually did a missed touch there, or a missed touch, should I say. And AJ didn't need to be invited twice. A beautiful I come into that as well, because again, it, there is nobody else in the world that seems to have that switch that they flip between day one and the rest of the event. They've got it going right now, though, on their way to a 2-0 record so far in the group stage as they try to take game one. Apparently, Jack and Nolly getting things rolling now for Gen G. And the yeah. corner with him. Chronic on the backboard. Edge is in the center, and Nolly is going to turn this one down. So at the moment, Opti looking at the faster team stacks. Oh, no. Oh, no, not no, so no, fast. No. Nolly. Like a hot knife through butter, just right through the defense. One little move on Magic Bear. Reddles trying to recover from the, in the series with his third. Now stuff for Magic Bear because he was so desperate to keep that attack going. That's why he made that mistake as the third man diving uh -oh. in. But another attack starts from the kickoff. And once again, AJ scores the equalizer after an early Gen G goal. Well, AJ has had shots go in off the ground, off the crossbar. This one cleanly For a into the like net. AJ too, who he'll he'll have his fits of struggling with shooting accuracy and some of those bounces not going his way. I think he can get into his head, but right now he is all money. AJ with two in a row. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this, the flip reset, and then this extra touch here just to flip. Rumored it over to be the replacing. Top. It did not ultimately happen. And now they've got to find a way to kind of navigate that mental uh, obstacle course. They've also got to find a way to navigate around midfield. They just lose the ball here completely. Magic Bear and AJ not on the same page. AJ looked like he might have got nuts from behind, and Nolly is the all center. over it. 
wants to get the second touch, but isn't able to. Apparently Jackler does linger in front, asking Chronic to pass the ball to him. Instead, Chronic opted just to send it long to try and waste some optic boost. It looked like a good choice land. Eventually, he is going to put it away, and it's 2-0 Genji. What more can you say? Apparently, Jack, it's, I mean, it's a shot on. It's Falling a rebound here at the midway point of game three. It's not match point after their efforts from game two, but Null is going to add to it as he slots one from midfield off the kickoff. And now it is just pouring goals from Gen G. Another midfield goal from Nolly. And I think one he thing I've noticed about past Chronic, that's more like it, but that one's inaccurate, unfortunately, from Magic Bear. Rettles keeps the attack going, scooping it around the corner. AJ follows through, wants to get the second touch and does. Nolly's going to miss. Magic Bear's coming in, and it's a smart finish into the floor from Magic Bear. Yeah, that's a, a great patient attack as well. AJ gets the second touch. Magic Bear, fantastic read. He Giving sees Gen G something to think about. Going to try and create on his own right at Chronic, who makes a critical one on one stop. And that will take any hope of an optic comeback out of the equation as Nolly adds another. AJ is going to get credit for an extermination, which was happening behind the scenes that we barely noticed. But Nolly adds his sixth. Goal of this nil. series. Yeah, and, and that's at a crew team that they're going to be playing for their maybe invitational lives. Also, by the way, on that subject, Complexity, you mentioned them. Happy birthday to Dex. Their uh, team stream caster is Nolly. Dex. Adds one as well. Look, we're not going to talk about the other birthday over on the Gen G side. We've talked about him enough. Nolly's got seven goals to recover if needed. I wonder if maybe they need him to be a little more proactive as he makes the stop here on Apparently Jack. Reddle's there to help as well. And AJ, oh, it oh goes no. off of Reddle's oh and in! No. Oh, it just keeps building up for the green wall. Yeah, it does. And that's the quality of Gen G. You know, they force these mistakes. They make players seem like they're Not out of position. Or it just seems that final ingredient, the, the pepper, the spice, isn't quite available for Optic Gaming anymore. Yeah, they just haven't been able to finish. AJ will try here. Oh. His shooting's oh, been on. Go. Gets a little help as it goes off of Nolly and in, but he will take it. It's a fifth goal in this series for AJ, who has absolutely come alive. Well, and try first. Magic Bear gets in the way. There's an attempted pinch from apparently Jack and Nolly, I think it was. Quite happening. Up to come forward. Rettles gets the demo. Is the goal open for AJ? Yes, it is. He's been watching Nolly. He knows how to sink these. Optic are alive and well. Oh. Demo after demo through the smoke screen. Nobody home. AJ and adding flying to the end of this game. Oh, AJ pounds one over the bar and Magic Bear on the rebound effort. That's going to leave Rettles all alone. And the shot on an open net was wide. There's Nolly, who again scores on an open net and breaks the two all tie. <laughs> if anything was going to end this series, that's what it was going to be. Nolly with an open net Facebook in front of him. Retake the wrong side of the field for now. Still fighting for possession, but all for NRG here. Like in the early pressure from NRG, they're at least willing to really go up there and fight for possession. And actually going to score. Did he just bump typical off the goal line? And was he just able to walk right through out of the corner? And so it begins. Yeah, it looked like it was a bump on the mist. And Squishy plays it low back down on the curve and immediately Big gets into the goal line. Justin feeling it off the ceiling with a bounce touch. First killer will play this very easily. And how to phase regroup numbers and pressure back towards that midfield line. They've struggled to start game one, but as they keep it on the ground, they have plenty of space to work with. And it's all thanks to Mist with a beautiful flick with 210 on the clock. Really great placement as well. You can see Justin, he gets put in the one on two in the back. He has to make sure to not get bumped. So he starts to try and Still, cut in play on First killer, going to dump it. Red to Mist off the backboard. Red by Justin very quickly. The defense of NRG not wasting a lot of time when they're clears. Air G normally so good at converting those open chances. He gets the second one. This time he doesn't have to read it off the top corner. It's just wide open. Everyone from FaZe gone AWOL here. Sipical had time to go grab corner boost. Unfortunately for him, it wasn't there. So he just continued the up the side on the post. Chance for first killer one on one. It'll take a decent skip for Sipical. Mist is really going to have to stretch. No chance to get there before Garrett. Second shot, shot from first killer. Third one. And Justin doesn't have the time to recover. They tie it up with one second. If that's not the pinnacle of what goes wrong for NRG, you're winning a game, you're winning a game, and now a you got to go play through the corners and off the backboard of Phase's side of the field. They haven't been as pressed as you might have thought before to start this series. Garrett, low to the post. Oh, it's there. Opposite corner. <laughs> Garrett gets the assist. High fives all around. NRG again, finding some real estate, and they close the deal in game one.
Great job here from all three players, really, just in getting here through the corner. Offsets. Is that really what's going to happen? Yeah, that's fair. It's fair okay. for entertainment. Good. Appreciate that. It's <laughs> all's fair in love and entertainment. <laughs> oh, they're going to score for Sometimes three. they go hand in hand. It's typical. Gets a little one, too. Nice job by FaZe. So I guess it wasn't as free as it initially looked, but that takeaway cross oh. into the middle and first kill addition it right back. I mean, yeah, just you can hang out on just smashing himself through all the players on that near post. Was she going to be trust trying to get in first killer's face? And again, I mean, Gara G's, he's having quite a defensive show. And there's the pass mm. from Justin, and they turn it into a give and go. God, these counterattacks are just lethal. The win by Gareth, first of all, in the 50 into the neutral zone. Justin on a dime, and Gareth yeah, closes it. Definitely feels like, in general, Gara G definitely stepping up and looking excellent in that particular aspect of the game so far. I don't know what's more impressive, the, the pass from Justin and the fact that Garrett even wins that alone. Mm. But maybe FaZe will just have to take a breather and, and calm things down because you still have to worry about First Killer and Typical working in tandem oh like they do. Man, that was so not fair either. Like, Squishy... FaZe have really been keen on overextending, whether it's Typical or Mist. After First Killer goes for a challenge on Justin or Garrett with the ball, they try to fall back and find an oh, infield pass quickly, commit. but it's been all of NRG on the other side. Typical. Left it down in the front of the box. Miss circles back to the goal line. Hits his own teammate. Oh. And NRG take advantage of the free space. That's on an tough. island, he and yet again, we'll try to find the angle. It's typical. Looks to keep it alive, but FaZe are struggling. They just haven't been able to find that sustained drive downfield. NRG are more than happy to play boom ball here with about two minutes burn. Ooh. Oh, drop. <laughs> wow! Are you kidding? Two minutes burn, and that's how FaZe find it. Man, first killer goes for a big challenge on the sidewalls. Says, hang on, we're not done yet. Your Throw it to me okay. Well, if you are FaZe, you're probably feeling good about, obviously, that game two victory took a little bit longer than maybe you would have liked. Oh, but it seemed that Typical did come alive a little bit more. Oh, he couldn't get it. Obviously, somewhere, somewhere in there is English. Uh, Mist finds the goal. This was a great job. I mean, they actually just waste all the boost off of NRG. I, I, looking back at it now, I'm not it's surprised just to stop from Squishy first and foremost. I mean, having to contend with the smoke screen right there and potentially wondering where the shot was going to come from and then it would prevent getting dunked on. Gary G one on one will carve that one around the defense. It's going to find the equalizer. I was just thinking NRG, the big difference was they were missing that physicality. They don't need it here. Yeah. Just dish one off the ceiling. <laughs> Oh, as we were saying, NRG looking to uh, take this one and go up to one in the series. This demo at midfield, make it two. Missed. You got to be kidding. The demos is that free? Oh. I guess it is. Bye bye, NRG. Squishy, that's not a bad job challenging the ball. The problem is, Miss says I just beat two of your teammates and turned them into <laughs> dust. That's really more just than more than implications really for NRG in this series. Granted, uh, losing today to start off was not ideal. And now for them, they're going to have to make some magic happen as Garrett does just that, avoids a bump, floats it right back out in front, and Squishy will close the deal. Well, well done, NRG. Garrett just doing a little Thrown bit. in this not series, like we said time and time again. Face have not yet hit. Maybe their next level that we're used to. But how do they try to solve this riddle here? They started off with a couple of demos. Miss make that three so far in about a minute. Ooh. Bam, and make it another first killer. Nice pressure here from FaZe across the board. Typical doing a great job. Little chip, not going to allow Squishy to come up and challenge him if he starts to dribble, so he forces yeah, all of energy. Yeah, fighting over everybody, and Typical has to stretch out as far as he can to just stay it off the top bar. Going up to the shelf to meet it. Typical, the pass to miss, the clear. Oh, no! Justin oh. got there in time, barely before first killer finds it. Punished him, Justin. Got caught a step too far forward. He can see that ball get cleared straight down, and his initial instinct is push forward and challenge. Like to cause a sees... headache for FaZe, and going down with a minute left is uh, not the way you want to go about it. Yeah, look, when the math has to math, you don't want to be the one doing the numbers. You just want to know that you have your series locked up and you can move on. But you also <laughs> want to have to deal with Garrett. After a couple of demos that led way to a FaZe possession, NRG put the pressure on, and Garrett came right back upfield. And it's not the best shot from Justin, but at the same time, it does kind of handcuff Mist. Up field. No way. It's a floater oh. from Mist. The dunk, but Squishy on the save. First killer now takes it off the ceiling. He'll get the reset back down, and energy starting to press. They have to worry about this pressure. Oh, Mist they get caught. The redirect, and he finds it. I'll shout that all day, every day, baby.
What a shot here from FaZe. Great pressure. Garrett G, that, that's not a bad challenge. It's just the third man, they get caught thinking that, okay, we finally line? broke. How did it he make it like back? It. I didn't think he had any boost, but he still found a way to basically squeeze it off the top corner. Here comes SSG yet again. And Justin comes up with another big one. LJ. Oh, come on. The top bar finally <laughs> achieves can breathe. It's got to go in eventually, right? There's no way. I mean, Garrett G obviously trying to just dive in front and save a much stronger shot. Squishy possession now puts posi a lot of pressure on Justin to keep it in the mix. You kind of have to give a little ground here if you're an RG because you don't want to keep fighting for boost and the ball at the same time because eventually you're going to run out of it, but they make it work somehow. Justin is able to score off the open net. Look at Squishy here. He's just fighting for the ball. Just goes around the back. LJ gets totally blindsided. No shot to go. Oh, and, back. and Squishy was sitting there on no boost. He was pretty much a, a lame duck in the net. But quite fortunate that he didn't have to go anywhere else to try and save that one. And even more fortunate that it actually didn't go in. LJ misses the ball! <laughs> She's going to win game one. Oh, wow. I mean, Justin just gets the freest touch ever, and they're to miss. <laughs> I might take Space Station, no question, but mm. after seeing NRG really be able to go out there and chase down some of these challenges that are pretty deep and coming away with wins, oh, okay, they're going to turn one into a goal as well. Great play. I mean, it doesn't have to be pretty to work. Garrett's just been on one today. It's a beautiful pass from Justin, and Garrett floating just bit. leaves Good it off the board. I think I just had a stroke. Here we go. Off the kickoff. <laughs> Garrett. <laughs> Trying try to win possession. Justin. We'll clear back out. No way Garrett's going to score from this angle. He might oh. and he will. That's disgusting. You, space man, have not seen some of the wizardry <laughs> of all time from Garrett G. Granted, I didn't know if he could score it either. This is quite a shot. Oh Ran into the wall as LJ will keep things to a two-goal lead for NRG. Said it before, say it again. The defense of NRG with low boost today has been disgusting. Every single time. That's just three. three. Justin had no boost, finds a save off the crossbar and gets back upfield, avoids a couple of bumps, and just takes it away. I got him wire. Goodness. There, there, there had to be some double commit on the challenge, but Arsenal getting hung up on that. Uh, side wall and just totally unable to go and challenge. Daniel will get one back, so you can kind of write that last goal off. Forget about it. You're in the same situation you were just in, so great demo. Nice kickoff and really freezing Justin there, controlling all the space. Great job from Arsenal. Arsenal. Everybody <laughs> else, you're looking at SSG and at least how their run needed to go this weekend. They did not expect maybe to come down to this point, but Garrett's looked great. Justin's defense has been immaculate. Squishy's been fantastic at midfield, and it just continues. NRG 4-1. This actually goes all the way back to Garrett G. Look at him harass LJ there on the goal line. Gets a little piece of him. Doesn't make it easy to control that ball in the corner. It kind of floats off his nose, and here comes... Yet again, got to give credit where credit's due. The, the defense from NRG has looked excellent this series. They've been very low in the tank every single time there's a press, and they escape on these counterattacks. How many times have we seen this play in these three games? You wait, you buy your time, you get a clear from Garrett or Justin, and then somebody oh. else is on the other side of the field. And LJ, he's in position. <laughs> he's trying his best. Daniel can't go anywhere. Arsenal playing it low, off the bar. LJ catching, slow floater, combining for a double commit. That Daniel again, that has to yeah. be in, and it will, finally. I mean, Justin was just camped around the backboard the whole time. He was on zero to five boost for a while, and he and Garrett oh, geez, no were really... To that. Yeah. They're like, yeah, bring it on. I've only done it like 11 times so far today. They can do it again. <laughs> the big question is, can you convert that demo into a goal? Arsenal, Ooh. what a read. Beautiful pass. The pass is really where you get sold on it. Arsenal just beats the defense. LJ gets the demo, but the dish from Daniel. I mean, Arsenal knows it's coming. He it's just blood in the water. He's going to pounce. As Garrett couldn't extend it, but Squishy will try to play it to the corner, almost the center out. LJ, the clear. Arsenal. Get oh, back. so dead. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see somebody on defense just get put on the hook and have no idea what to do. Look at how early Garrett G jumps. Ah, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Garrett G is just like, oh, <laughs> I'm about to get absolutely rocked. And unfortunately, he beat himself. Arsenal with a great catch. Starting to see the passes a little bit more from SSG and just starting to see the finishing a little bit more from LJ. He was slow in this series to start, but a beautiful pass downfield and gives it right back. LJ finds it. 
Now this is two goals in a row where, where Garrett G is really hung out to dry. It makes it numbers here. SSG pressing. NRG now trying to fly off spawn. You got Garrett low in the corner on his lonesome, circling towards the backboard. Here comes Daniel. Garrett should read this, but Daniel with a beautiful pinch off the ceiling, oh. and he gets it down for an Arsenal goal. Good night. We're going at least to four with that one. What a touch from Daniel is right up towards the ceiling and the second hit and the bump. Saying no, 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 no. Seen this before from guys... SSG when they build a lead. And with a three lead cushion, or I should say a three goal cushion at this point. Achieves, this is kind of the SSG we expected in this series. It's definitely what you thought you were supposed to get. Wait, what? <laughs> Okay. How did Squishy get through for free? Okay, that's a nice enough pass. Can't fade that. Nice little pop from Justin. And... Oh, LJ, you just got to hit the ball. I think he hit the break. Here late in this series, NRG, what do they got? Well, I think they've got a lot to think about, to say the least. But most importantly, you want to make sure you don't allow that early two-goal lead. And that is not starting off right. They just can't get a handle on the ball. Arsenal scores off of Justin not quite able to hit that ball a second time. Oh, so close, but not enough. Oh, they had it, this. but they can't score it. It's off the post. They're throwing everything and the kitchen sink at this. From the basement as well, LJ escaping. Oh, a 1v1 oh, around my. the bend, and LJ puts them away. Now, if you're an NRG fan, now you roll your eyes and you say, of course, of course, they get it all going.